You happy now, Candace? <laughs> yes! See, Mom? I told you they weren't there! another video and today we're going this is gonna be a girl talk so i'm gonna be answering questions that some of y'all asked me on instagram this is based off what i know or what i believe or what i think so if you don't agree with me that is fine it's perfectly fine but this is based off what i think so if you are a boy and you don't want to watch this video click out of it because this is for girls now you can watch it if you want to but if you don't hear about periods and stuff like that then click out but oh yeah and i need i was thinking about calling these girl talks talks with k but i don't know so if y'all come up with some names, comment down below and let me know. But if not, I'm just going to name it Toss with K. So, yeah. Let's get to the video. Okay. So, we're going to... This is what... These are some of the questions that I got asked. So, I hope they didn't show nobody on Instagram because... These are anonymous. No, I'm not going to say y'all Instagram names, nothing. Because I don't want nobody to be like, oh, you said this, you said that. No. So, it's going to be anonymous. So, y'all don't have to worry about it. So, the first question I'm going to start off with is, I'm going to go in different orders, so it won't be in order. I'm going to start off with, um, how to get away from a toxic relationship. Um, okay, because I've been in two. So, you mostly have to, like, first you got to start off about, like, thinking about what you want to do. Especially, like, I could see if y'all been together for four to five months. But if it's if it been, like, nine to a year, then if you want to, like, work it out, you can tell that person, like, Things gotta change, but or if you really wanna be with that person, you need to tell them like you need to change or like you are gonna leave. That's just how it should be, because like yeah, because tox if you being toxic, it could cause stress and anxiety and a lot of stuff like that. So you just really have to think about like what you wanna do and then. If you want, if like you get to a point where you're tired, then leave. That's just what I think. What do I do if my boyfriend is being mean to me around his friends? Okay, so I've been through this too. But I wouldn't say necessarily mean. I'll say fronting in front of his friends. But if y'all feel, if you feel that your boyfriend's acting a different way around his friends than he will act when it's just you and him you should tell him that first you should tell him that's me i think you should tell him and then like if he like denies it like oh i don't do that then like when it happens again like just tell him in front of his friends because that's what i do i'll be like you actually this is what i mean you doing this in front of your friends, and you will be doing this, and then your friends, your his friends, will get it, and be like, yeah, that's kind of bogus. Well, some of them will, cause some of, some boys are just slow. I'm sorry, but they just don't under, they don't comprehend stuff like we do. So, but I think you should, after you tell them, and he don't get it, just tell him in front of his friends, and then maybe he'll get it like okay because she's serious 
when is it a good time to lose your virginity? <laughs> Losing your virginity, um, that should be something that you are ready for. You shouldn't let nobody pressure you or rush you or anything like that. If you feel that you are ready, then that should be now it's not i'm not saying like if you 12 and you watching this don't have sex please don't have sex like you're 12 no you haven't even hit puberty yet i don't think i don't think so but yeah so i'm not, I'm not saying you should just wait till like you know you're ready Do you know anything about birth control? Um, yeah, I know a couple things about birth control. If that's basically birth control is used for you not to have not to get pregnant while you're having sex, of course. Two, it can stop anemia, like it can raise your blood help your blood. Like anemia anemic is like when you get cold fats you don't you don't have enough blood running through your body because i'm anemic so but i take iron pills for that but sometimes birth control can help the anemia because they did put me on birth control when they found out that my my um that i, I that it wasn't like at the level it was supposed to be i was on birth control but it was like it it does different things for different girls. So it was making me come on my period twice in a month. And I didn't like that because who wants to be on a period twice in a month? So I stopped taking the pills. And then it could cause weight gain or weight loss and stuff like that. So that's really all I know. So... How do I get over an ex I still I still care about? Um If he moved around, you should do the same. That's that's one. But if it's like I understand if y'all like y'all was talking, y'all just broke up like probably 3 weeks ago and he already moved on, you should do the same, but don't like move on with a different person because then you like move it too fast and you will hurt the person that you talk to next. So just like surround yourself with a group of friends or even if you don't have a lot of friends, just surround yourself. Like if you have a best friend, like I surround myself with my best friend. If something is wrong, I text her or one of my other friends. It's just one though. I text her and my other friends. She knows she is if she watching this. So, but if you don't have a best friend, then surround yourself with, like, your mom. My mom, she helps me with a lot of stuff. So, so, just surround yourself with your mom, your best friend, or even your favorite cousin or your grandma. Like, like you can get advice from them to, like, move around or do different stuff. Like, you can start, you can start drawing or... Like, I did these. Like, I never knew that I knew how to do this. Like, you can start learning how to braid and stuff like that. And just, you can make a lot of money and just off stuff you're doing by yourself. So, just surround yourself with people. That's, that's all. What do you do if your boyfriend wants to have sex but you're not ready? Tell him that you're not ready like can't nobody force you to do anything that's just you if, if they forcing you, you need to tell somebody because that's sexual assault but if you're not ready and if he asks if he asks you and you tell him you're not ready and if he like asks you to leave or he get ready to take you home then that's all he want so y'all gotta like be careful with stuff like that because like it could cause sexual assault even if like y'all arguing like he can try to hurt you so if you if you're not ready you need to tell him like i'm not ready for this that's just being honest like that's honesty
How do you know if a boy really likes you for sex or just want just likes you for you or just wants you for sex? Okay, so the signs that I've noticed from my past two years is if if a boy wants to just have sex with you, like every time you around him, he'll just want sex. Like he'll ask you all the time. Or he'll just do things like other bes things besides like kissing you, like touching you, meaning he just wants that. So, but that's all the time. Even if you told him that you weren't ready or you didn't want to do it, and he still keep going, that's really all he wants. So, if you figure that out, if you can see those signs, then he's not the boy for you. Can you get pregnant from oral sex? No. You can't get pregnant from oral sex. That's... I'm going to put the definition over here. But... Because I don't, I don't really want to say it. But oral sex is like basically having... Okay, that's basically like your partner's mouth on your private. That's what that is. So you can you can't get pregnant from that. I just started my period, and I would like to know which is better to use, a pad or a tampon. Now, I'm different from you, and if I'm different from a lot of you guys that are watching this. And if you feel that a tampon is better to use, then that's you, because that's your body. Now, I used pads for the simple fact, I cut my period when I was in sixth grade, I think. So, when I first, come on, had bought me the tampons and the pads. But when I opened the tampon box, I'm like, where did this go? Like, I'm confused. She was like, you got to stick it up your vagina. And mind you, I was a virgin. So, it's going to hurt. So, I'm like, no, I don't want to use this because, no. So, I decided to use pads. And... I heard, I don't know because I don't use them. I heard that when you stick a tampon up, up, some of the blood can get stuck. And even the tampon could get stuck, like, in your vagina. That's what my mom told me. I don't know if that's true. But she said that sometimes it gets stuck up in your vagina if it go up too far. So. How do you know if your pH balance is knocked off? I think it's three. My mom told me if you have discharge... You have a different smell and something else. But things that knock off your pH balance can be if your your panties are too tight, uh, you drink a lot of pop, um Oh, and and soap and soap. Some some soaps can knock off your pH balance. I use the dove unscented because like it's unscented. I don't think you should well, some girls could, but isn't sometimes it's not good to use scented soap because it can knock off your pH balance. So, how many boys can you date in high school without calling you a, without them calling you a pass around? Um, the maximum should be two or three, but make sure they're not in the like in the same group. Cause you know, like in high school, a lot of for those of you that that's not up in high school, you wouldn't know this. But for the girls that are in high school, like at different high schools, everybody had a clique. Like with me, I only talk to the dance team because I'm on the dance team, and then you know the basketball players talk to the basketball players because they, you know, that's their group. So they all in different groups. So make sure they don't all like they're not all in the same group then, then they'll really pass you around in a circle so don't talk to a group just like you know and they don't move around like so fast because then rumors start to spread and then you know what can i expect when i get my period um it's not really nothing to well it's hor i'm not gonna say it's horrible because it's not that bad for certain girls. But with me, my cramps, like, 
they make me not want to get up at all. Like, I can be crying f for two hours straight. Like, my stomach could really be hurt. But some girls don't get cramps. Some girls don't have bad cramps. So, and some girls' periods go from three days to five to seven to even longer. So, it all just depends on how your period is. But... If you start, like, because before you actually start your period, like, your first period, you should get cramps, like, two weeks before, I think, because that's what that happened to me, I think so. So, you should get, uh, you should have cramps, and then that's how you know that your period is, like, going to start. So, make sure you have, and it's good to use baby wipes instead of tissue, because, like, with the blood, blood dries up, like, especially if it wastes over in your underwear, it dries up. So... Like, you just use wipes so you can make sure it's, it's like, you get it good. Just in case, like, because your lips with the dry blood, it could be sitting on your vagina lips. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. So, just make sure you have wipes, pads, or tampons. And, like, make sure you have things to go in a period kit. I will make a period kit for school because I go back to school in two weeks. So, um, I'm gonna make a period kit for y'all to, like, have things in it. So, yeah. And if y'all hear people talking in the background, I'm sorry. I think my dad got a company, but, yeah. Should I trust a boy that cheated on me? Again? I don't know, because... If he, like, I don't know, to be honest, because it happened to me twice, but I'm a forgiving person, so I keep forgiving it, forgiving. Even if I'm, even if, even if, when I know I'm not supposed to be with that person still, and I still manage to be with that person because I'm a forgiving person, it's just that if you feel like he gonna do it again, then I think you should leave. But if you want to give him another chance so y'all can work it out, then do that. But don't sweat him because then he going to really think, like, no, I'm not, I don't want to be with her. Then he going to actually, like, cheat, cheat. So don't sweat him. Just, if you smell something fishy, if you know something fishy going on, then you know what to do. Because girls see stuff before it even happens. That's just, like, you know we sense stuff like you you sometimes you know when you get it cheated on it's just like you can you can you know it like you can sense it like yeah but what do you do when your period comes at a public place come on at a public place okay so it depends on where you are. Like, if you're at school, go to the nurse and get a pad. That's that's what I can tell you for school. Go to the nurse and get a pad if you just, like, starting your period, if your first period. Go to the nurse and get a pad. If, if you're, like, at a store or anything and you're with your mom, if you're with your, if you're with your mom, like, sometimes, because when I be at a public place, I get a whole bunch of tissue. This is not good, but... You can't do anything. You're at the store. So go into the bathroom and get a lot of tissue and just, like, lay it down in the middle, like, where the pad's supposed to go. Just get a lot of tissue and lay it down. And then tell your mom, like, hey, I just started my period. Could we go get some pads or could we go home? And then she should take you home because, like, that's common sense. But if you're driving and you're by yourself, do the same thing and then just go home until you get a pad. How do you know when a boy is interested in you? He shows affection. Like, if he's showing affection, then, like, yeah. And if he want to talk to you, like, all the time, if he want to get on the phone to help you with your homework or, like, if you on a dance team. Because, like, my ex-boyfriend, like, when we, when we first started talking, when I had tried out for the dance team, like, I was scared to go... Like, cause we was what's we was um, we was the the paper was on the uh door, 
and I was scared to go look and see if my name was on the paper to see if I made varsity or not. So he did it for me. So that shows a lot of care, like he cares about you. Or and if y'all on Facetime and you just learned something and out when you got out of dance practice and he asked to see it, like that's just me. Like that shows that tells me that you care about what I'm doing. You care about what I want to do. So yeah. Is it good to shave on your period? No, you're not supposed to shave on your period. That's what I was told. You're not supposed to shave on your period because for the simple fact is when you get in the shower, you're still bleeding. It may not be a lot like when you're sitting down like not wet, but you're still bleeding. So like when you shaving and then like you can actually did cut yourself because you're still like, you know, it's still like it's you're still bleeding. So it's not good to shave on your period. What should I be worried about in the real world? That it depends on what you want to do, like what you want to do with your life. Like I don't think most of these girls like set themselves up to a high standard. Cause I set myself up to a high standard. My what I want to do with my life is I want to. Cause I'm a junior in high school now. I want to. Get to my senior year, graduate with, you know, a good GPA, and I want to go to college. I want to go to HBCU so I can dance, and then I want to go to school so I can be a nurse. So then I want to graduate graduate from college, and then I would like to become a nurse. So I think girls should just set yourself up. Like now, especially if you in high school, you should be – planning your future like as you go now if you were eighth grade you can yeah you could think about it it cross your mind but if you're in high school you need to like be building because i started building when i was a freshman so i decided i want to be a nurse when i was a freshman so y'all need to like build stuff especially if you are junior in high school you need to know what college you want to go to well you don't need to know you need to start thinking about colleges you want to go to like looking at colleges stuff like that because, of course, you got SAT and stuff like that. So, somebody said, why are guys so stupid? Some boys are not stupid. Some girls are stupid. Some boys are stupid. I wouldn't say stupid. It's just the way that they they act stupid. Like, they just, a lot of people, I wouldn't say goofy. It's just that, like, some people are, everybody's very different. So, others wouldn't do stuff that you do or they do different things that you do because of the way that everybody was taught because everybody is taught differently you know so like yeah how do i tell my mom i have a boyfriend if she's very strict um i don't know how i told him i forgot because i was scared to tell her um, buddy, if it's like, if it's been like two weeks, don't tell her, don't hear her. Wait till, if y'all still together after three months, did, you could tell her, because usually y'all will be on FaceTime if y'all have an iPhone. Y'all, y'all will be, y'all, y'all be on FaceTime. And your mom be like, who's that? And then you tell her, like, it's a boy. And then if she, like, acts within a month or so, I think you should, like, Tell her, like, we getting on the different level. Even if you scared, like, you should just be honest. Because one thing I learned from one of my friends, Aaliyah, shouting you out. One thing I learned from her is being honest is always, like, it's the key to everything. Like, if you don't have honesty, what do you have? So, I think you should just be honest with her, like, and tell her, like, I really like this boy, and I think he likes, like, we feeling each other, so. What to do with a, what do you do with a, if you have a fake friend? Um, you, it's different signs with fake friends, like, for the simple fact, you can't stop nobody from being, uh, friends with certain people, because, yeah like say 
Well, I can say that they were my best friend because when I'm not cool with somebody, she's not cool with them either. When I'm not cool with nobody, she uh, when she's not cool with them, I'm not cool with them. So, but like, say you have a friend at school and she's cool with somebody that you're not cool with, you can't stop. Well, that's your choice, but I don't think you should stop being friends with them just because of that because then that's that's petty to me like but then at the same time that person that girl that's in the middle of y'all too she could be talking about the other girl when she not around and then she could be talking about you when you're not around so you just have to watch things like that because of the simple fact most of these girls out here they're just fake and just phony. That's why I only have four solid friends. Four. I'm not going to name them, but you have to get your click. You're probably not going to find it if you were a freshman in high school, if you just not finding it. Because some of your friends from 8th grade probably went to a different high school. So everybody's not going to go with you. But you just have to find your click, you know. And if you find the right people, you have to, like, yeah so it just took it took me a couple it took me my freshman year and uh and half of my sophomore year to figure out who my friends were so and that's why i only have four so you have to just keep your circle small you know don't open it up to everybody because everybody not gonna do you right so that was the end of this video i hope y'all liked it i hope y'all like comment and subscribe and let me know what I should name these talks because I don't know. So y'all comment down below what should I name these because. Yeah. And a part two coming soon. I'm going to post a poll on Instagram probably in the next week and a half or so. And y'all can ask me more questions because this was just episode one. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.